Hello, my name is Peter Phelps, and in this FreeCAD video, I've done some different things. I'm now using Ubuntu, and I'm using FreeCAD 0.18, the daily update. What we're going to model today is dowel pins, the, the pieces of wood you would shove in to um, make a woodworking project stronger. So, I've made this spreadsheet it will be available in a link below in the description this is basically the different dial diameters what they are converted to in the decimal format then over here we've got the same diameters in metric millimeters and then the radius is because that's what pre-cad likes now I'm not going to model all of these I'm going to model the shortest smallest one and then show how to change that into the largest longest one and these are the metrics on the lengths for those two so in FreeCAD I have a document already made I like to switch to the model tab not the task tab and we're in part design workbench and we want to create a new sketch we're going to go over and click the YZ plane and we're going to say OK. I have my grid set up so that it shows for every millimeter. And I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm going to move it over just a bit. Up. And then we're going to use the polyline tool. We're going to click the origin, go out a little, make an angle, come over, make sure we're sort of straight, come over, click back to the axis, back to the origin. And then we're going to hit escape twice to get rid of the polyline tool and what I'm going to do is click the bottom line control click the angled line and then we're going to set an angle and I'm typing in 100 degrees and say OK and then we're going to do the same thing to the top top line side line 100 degrees now from this point here to this point here we're going to control click that one and we're going to set the height to four millimeters and say okay the same thing to the top oops Four millimeters. Basically what that is doing is creating the fluting part of the dowel. Fluted. And then we're going to click this point and this point and we're going to set that to the diameter here. Now just to, to note um, like when I get down to this one I'm gonna probably have to change because I only have three decimal points set up I'll show that later but some of these have like five so you might have to change the uh, number of decimal points allowed in FreeCAD. So okay we're gonna be putting 3.175 into this 3.175 and say OK. And so we have the 3.175 and now we want to set the height. I'm just going to click the line itself, hit that, and 25.4 is the one inch, 25.4. 
and we'll say OK. I'm going to drag that out because later it's going to be easier. Now the, the sketch is turned green, it's fully constrained. We can just click close. And what we're going to do with that sketch, right now we're looking at the top. So it doesn't look like much but a line. So that's the sketch, basically. And what we're going to do is click it and create a rotate. And say OK. And bring it back up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to make the grooves that are in it. So we're going to go to part and I'm going to create a cylinder. I'm going to take that cylinder and I'm going to move it to the 3.175. It doesn't matter if you do this on X or Y. It's just going to move it out. 3.75. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the radius of this to 0 0.2. So it's really, really small. And we're going to change the height to the same size as it is, 25.4. And now we're going to change over to the draft workbench, take that cylinder, and we're going to create a, an array, change it from ortho to polar, and then come down and what I found is if I say an even number, this will air out. But if I do an odd number, it seems to work. So I'm going to put 27 in. Hit enter. And then we've got our array of cylinders. Now we're going to go back over to part. We're going to click the revolution, control, click array, and then do a cut. And that there is our fluted and grooved wood dowel pin. Now if you want you could take and click the cut if you change the shape color into something that's more like wood color or you can make it I'm gonna make it yellow for right now because I'm gonna be using these later in a different uh, different tutorial so what we'll do is we're gonna go file save and I'm going to type in here let me go uh, documents recap videos this is going to be one order by one inch dial pin. and I'll click save now if you wanted to you could uh, export this as a STL or a step or any other type of format you want SCLs are what's for 3D printing, but it's also easy to uh, import those into other CAD file programs. Okay, so in order to change this, so we're now going to make the larger one here. Basically, we're going to change the dimension to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that one. And what I'm going to do is go <coughs> excuse me go back into FreeCAD and I'm going to change the I'm going to go edit preferences and I want to change the units and I'm going to change this to 5 so that I have enough to do any of those other ones that had too many decimal points after. I'll say OK. Now 
it will take up to the fifth decimal point. Um, basically, all you gotta do is come back in, open up your items here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the cylinder. I'm gonna go back over to the data because I'm in the wrong one here. I'm gonna change the placement to that and hit enter. Now they disappear, but basically what it is is the cylinders have now all moved out to what will become the radius of the uh, sketch. So I'm gonna go back over here to the sketch itself. And I'm going to change this one here to that value. Say OK. And then go back over to the spreadsheet. And we want to change the length to the 101.6. I'm going to copy that over just to make it faster. And we're then going to paste that into that number and say OK. So it's now a much larger, longer doll pin. I'm going to say close. And that will be updated. Now you see that there's grooves because now that it's touching, but they're not long enough. And there's not enough of them. <laughs> so. What we're going to do I'm going to try to zoom in so you get a better look. But we're going to make the cylinder now that high. By just pasting it in again. So enter. And now we're going to go to the array and we're going to change the number. I'm going to go to 37. Enter. Because now that it's wider, it should have more grooves. Alright, that creates all the grooves. And so then we're going to take this and we're going to save it, save as, and that will be the 5 eighths by 4 inches. Five eighths by four inch dolphin. Say so save. And basically all you would do is keep going through and changing those two dimensions and, and the placement and the number of the cylinders to create your grooves. And it will be dependent on what you like and how many uh, of the cylinders you want to use for the grooves. But that also depends on how wide each pin is. So I hope this helps some of you. Um, in this case I'll change this one to red and save it again. Let's see. And I will be using these in a future video. It's a wood project. Oops, I changed the wrong thing. Sorry. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.